you guys are out partying. I'm not the don't do drugs guy, don't smoke weed, don't drink alcohol guy. I'm like, cool, bro, do whatever you want to do. But like, if that's going to slow you down from hitting your goals and bringing other people on your journey and you making them in a better position in their life, bro, like you're selfish, bro. Like, what are you talking about? I have a very special guest today, Melissa Romiza, and she is actually the first girl interviewer on Road to the Golden Door. So I'm really excited, Melissa, I met you two years ago now. I love watching your journey, seeing where you're going and seeing how you've gotten click to now go from a sales organization to now an EPC and doing their own, you guys' own installs now. For everybody that doesn't know who you are, who is I mean, Melissa Ramiza? Melissa Ramiza is someone who does not like to lose. I have been, this past year, I think I've put a lot of time into like, Figuring out like who I am now, it's like who I want to be. And I just try every day to get closer to who I want to be. And I like have it written down in my book, like three years, five years, 10 years. And I kind of just have to like look at myself in the mirror every day and be like, am I getting closer or further away from that person? And like the person I want to be is a, provi a provider. I want to be able to provide for my family, provide for my guys, my people, my friends, and just like genuinely have a heart of gold and like everything that I do with the best intentions. Tell me about the journey that you said you bring your reps on. Like, tell me about that. Like, what does that even look like? Practically speaking, if you want to go quick, go alone. If you want to go far, go with, go with a team. Like I plan to go super far in this industry. I have made sure this year to bring as many people on that journey and verbalize it to as many people as possible what I was going to do. And I feel like that's something I wasn't doing before. I was just trying to get to the top by myself and I wasn't bringing my family. I wasn't bringing my friends. I wasn't telling them what I was doing. And that's so important. And it's made such a massive difference this year in my relationships with my family and my relationships with my friends, with my relationships with my reps. I lead from the front always and I show my guys what's possible and they're able to mimic what I do because I make everything I do so simple and so duplicatable that a five-year-old could follow me and do it. What do you think people are not saying about being on top? Everyone talks about their work schedule. Everyone talks about their routine. Everybody talks about their presentation. Nobody talks about what it takes mentally outside of work in the morning and at night to make sure you can continuously put those numbers in. I was on yeah, live last night and Taylor bro. said, goosebumps. yeah, anybody can do 30 deals in a month, but it, not anybody can be consistently doing 30 deals a month. And that takes doing the right stuff outside of work in the morning and at night. And if you skip those and you just focus on what you're doing at work, I promise you won't hit the numbers because this, this job, this career requires you to be firing on all cylinders, not just the work cylinders. It's also the outside life cylinder. Are you doing the right things at home? Are you instilling the right habits? Are you habit stacking healthily? Like, what are you doing to keep going? Like, I don't party. I don't go to the clubs. I don't really drink unless it's like my birthday or I'm celebrating something. My friend's like, we're going to go to the bar last night. I said, that's nice. I'm going to go have a cup of water where I'm going to be home by midnight because I have to be up at my exact time to make sure my morning routine gets done. I'm going to push off my sleep so I can catch up with people I haven't seen in a while. But I'm not even drinking. They're all at the bar having a drink and I'm sitting there drinking water. And I'm like, all right, got to leave in 15 minutes, guys. It's the temporary imbalance to sacrifice who I need and want to be in 10 years. If I don't make that sacrifice now, I'll never be the Melissa I want to be in 2032. Tell me a little bit about some of the books that you're reading right now. Six Figure Summer. Read that twice. First summer I read it. I made six figures. Read it with my team again this summer. Atomic Habits. I've read that three times. I'm going to do it my fourth time. I've read Rich Dad, Poor Dad twice. I've read... The Millionaire Next Door once. I just keep re reading Atomic Habits. Like that has just like been something I'm really trying to implement this year is like correctly habit stacking. I feel like every time I read that book, I pull something different out of it that I didn't pull before. That has probably been the most influential book this year in my life. One of your biggest passions is helping encourage female entrepreneurs in our space. Why is that important to you? I came from a company when I first started in this industry that I like, didn't have girls. So I like very much so felt like the underdog. We were overlooked. We were like treated differently. Like it, we weren't safe. And I feel like a lot of males in this industry, like do not know how to properly lead females. And I felt like I found a niche in this market where I have a massive team of females. 60% of the leadership within the Click Solar organization are females. They all do double digits. They're all absolute killers. And I just think it's really important to have girls on your team. But the first thing that comes with that is learning how to properly manage them. And that's something I've really dialed in. And I think I have almost mastered at this point. I feel like we're breaking barriers that a lot of companies aren't breaking or really trying to break. And it's not like I tried super hard. I did make it a focus, 
Tell me what your end goal is. Within the organization I'm in right now is I want to move up to the president of sales. But once I move up into that kind of role, I want to start focusing on consulting other female leaders. Um, once my door knocking days are over, I have to retire my mom before that and then buy her her house in Hawaii. Kind of the end goal is like, I still want to stay in Colorado. I always want to be a part of the solar community because it's brought so much and given so much to me. I want to give it all back. That's my end game is to help this industry grow. And I want to see it with way more females. I just appreciate you. So um, thank you. Thank you for the time, man. I appreciate being on here. How do people find you on your socials? Instagram's the best place. My Instagram's my first and last name. So M-E-L-I-S-S-A-R-O-M-I-Z-A. And then there's four mm. A's at the end. So A, 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 and then a seven. I'm working on more videos to put on my Instagram to help some of you guys out on the doors. Don't ever hesitate to hop in the inbox. I'm always here to help. Thank you, Melissa. Appreciate you, man. If you like this, make sure you subscribe for more. Like, comment, send this to somebody that you think is cool. If you think I'm crazy, just tell me, Mikey, you're crazy. Or if you got something out of it, let me know in the comments as well. Cheers.